Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so for our dinners this week, I'm really trying to focus on using up stuff from our fridge, freezer, and pantry. And so for our dinner tonight, I had half a bag of wings in the freezer. I use the other half for our three ingredient wings that I made the other week. And I'll make sure to link that video in the description box. But for the seasoning, I used a package of Great Value Barbecue Seasoning. I already threw the package away, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. So I used that, and then I also added some barbecue sauce on top. And I baked these in the oven. We didn't feel like grilling today. Um, for our sides, we had a couple of ears of corn in our fridge. So we're having some fresh corn on the cob with salted butter. And then we are having a side of cheesy cheddar pasta um, from Noor, and here it is. It's actually pretty tasty. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am making a meatless meal for dinner tonight. I started doing this a few weeks ago, then I kind of slacked off. So in this skillet, I have some rice a going, and then I have some vegetables that I am sauteing. I have fresh um, mushrooms. I have some shredded carrots and some parsley, and that is Harrison, of course, in the background. And then when they're both done, I'm just gonna combine them. I'm combine them, I'm gonna make some fresh broccoli. So I will show you our plates in just a little bit. Okay, so here's our plate. Here is the rice pilaf. And then we are also having veggie or vegetable bird's nest. And I picked these up from Trader Joe's a while back ago. First time trying them. And it comes with a dipping sauce, which is right here. But let me flip it over on the back so you guys can see what's in there. So it has onion, carrot, and kale. So it is really heavy on the onion. It tastes kind of like an onion ring, if you will. Um, it's okay to me because I'm not a big onion ring person, but I think the dipping sauce will help it out a lot. And with it, I'm just serving some fresh stir-fried broccoli. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe tonight. In my freezer, I had this um, beef shaved steak that I wanted to use. So I am making a Philly cheese steak pasta. I'll leave the recipe in the description box. I am making a few, well, a couple of variations to the recipe. So the recipe actually called for ground beef, but I thought using a shaved steak would be more authentic. So the recipe calls for you to actually cook the meat by itself and then add in your peppers and onions. But I always cook my meat and veggies together, like onions and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And to season um, my meat and veggies, I'm using some garlic powder, some onion powder, And then I'm also going to use some steak seasoning and the recipe actually um, doesn't call for any of this, so, but we like our food well seasoned. So I'm just gonna let this cook up and then I'll come back and show you what's next. Okay, so my meat and veggie mixture is cooked. Now I'm going to add in some French onion soup. And I'm going to add in some W sauce. I cannot say that to save my life. And I'm going to add in a cornstarch slurry. And I'm just gonna let this thicken for a few minutes and then I'll be back with next steps. Okay, so my sauce has thickened and now I am pouring in some penne pasta. Um, I cooked two cups of dry penne pasta and drained it, did not rinse it. Sticking a little bit here. Pouring that in. 
And one thing I forgot to mention is that this recipe did call for fresh mushrooms and I used them on that veggie um, pilaf the other day and totally forgot that I needed fresh veggies for this recipe, or fresh mushrooms for this recipe. So of course, don't have them. Um, so I'm just gonna get this all incorporated and then you're supposed to add some chopped provolone cheese. So I'm just gonna drop the provolone cheese once I get everything all stirred up and cover it up and let the cheese melt. So here is the pasta and I think it turned out pretty good. I do like it with the shaved beef. Of course, I don't know what it would taste like with ground beef, but I do like it a lot. Next time I would probably add more cheese to it. I am serving it with some sweet corn and some garlic bread. This is the corn that I am using from Trader Joe's and then trying out this garlic bread from Winco. Never had their garlic bread before. So Winco is a local grocery store around here. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. So for dinner tonight, we are trying something new. This is shiitake mushroom chicken that I picked up from Trader Joe's on a recent haul. I'll try to remember to link it in the description box so you can check out that haul. But it comes with mushrooms, edamame, and green beans. And I was hesitant about getting it because Howard and I do not like edamame, but I read the back of the package and the vegetable packet is separate, which made it really easy to separate out all the edamame. Um, quick and easy to make, simple skillet meal, um, and it's, it's okay. Um, it might have been better if I had made it with rice, because sometimes you just need rice with stuff, and I think this is one of those things, but it's okay. It has a decent flavor. You can definitely taste the shiitake mushrooms, and I actually like mushrooms, but it's just not exactly what I expected, but it's not bad. And then we are having some Japanese yakisoba noodles with it, I first tried these, I guess, maybe a couple of months ago now, and I picked this up from an Asian grocery store called H Mart. Howard and I really liked it a lot. It comes with noodles and then the seasoning packages. And so um, to it, I just added green onions and then I added a coleslaw mix. Now I got the kind that had the purple and the green cabbage. So you see the purple cabbage right there. Um, it doesn't look that appetizing. I probably should have gotten one that just had the green cabbage in it. And it also had carrots in it as well. But that black pepper that you see actually came from the seasoning packet. So I didn't add anything else. This has a really good flavor. We really like these noodles. I'll definitely continue to buy them. They're pretty inexpensive too. And if you like, um, if you like these kind of noodles, Definitely get these. They taste like the restaurant noodles. They really, really do. All right, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. I've had this pizza in my freezer for a while and decided that is what we are having for dinner tonight. Get, I got this from Kroger, and we had a um, another one of these pizzas for lunch earlier this week, and it was really good. It was a pepperoni one. So this is the first time we're trying this particular um, flavor of pizza, if you will. And here it is on the pizza sheet, and I will let you guys know what we think of it. And then with it, we're just having salad. I had some lettuce in my freezer, not my freezer, in my fridge um, that was on the verge of going bad. So we're just having some salads tonight with Olive Garden salad dressing. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time.